Hi, and welcome to this short video. Today I recorded myself creating a very simple star schema using Wearscape Red. Wearscape are proud to say that you can create a star schema quickly, and I wanted to show you today how quickly that was. Prerequisites to this was a repository database being created, no DPC drivers being set up for both the repository and sources. Red software installed and configured. Now in the video, we are quickly setting up the load tables from our source system. So I've already created the address data, now loading the customer data. Now bringing in the order header. Next will be order line. And the final one is product. This is not only creating the definition of the table, it's also loading the data straight into the data warehouse. Next, we'll create the stage tables for each of these load tables. We need to first browse our repository now that we've loaded the data straight into the load schema. Now we're going to bring into the customer data into a staging table. We're going to change it from a data vault to a stage and then create and load the procedures relating to this table. Next is a product table. Same process. Changing it over to from a data vault to a stage table. And now we're going to create our order detail. Order detail is a combination of three tables, order header, order line, and address. We're now going to create an order detail definition table as a stage table. I'm going to press close on this time. Now we're going to bring in the order line entries. Add those columns and we can skip through all of these columns because they already exist within order header. Do a very similar process of address. Add columns. Skip through the existing columns. Now we're going to create a procedure that populates a table. We need to tell Wearscape how these tables interact with each other or join. So we're going to create a join criteria here. And I left out to join the address data with order header. I'm going to join on ship to address with address ID. Can't populate the table until the table is created. So we create the table and execute the procedure. Now the table has got the data in it properly, as well as the customer and add a product. Now we're going to create dimensions. We're going to create a customer dimension and a product dimension. It's just a case again, dragging in the entry from the right hand side into the center. Pressing OK, creating the table. Now creating a procedure that populates the dimension. Passing in the business key relates to the customer, which is customer code. Pressing OK. We again drag in product into the center. Press add. It's a normal code dimension, press create, and now we're going to rebuild the procedure. And again, we need a business key, product ID, and put that into the shuttle. Now that we've created our two dimensions and we've populated them, we're now going to create role plane dimensions. We do this under dimension views. We're going to create role plane dimensions for order date and ship date. We drag in dim date, which is a pre-existing dimension that Wearscape ships with itself. And then we're going to create the, the dimension views for order date and ship date for this star schema. Just done order date. We're now creating ship date. And what happens is it will create uh, bespoke columns for each of those uh, entries within that dimension. So you can see there, ship cow year uh, is prefixed with ship um, and order also has prefix with order. We're now going to bring the dimension keys into the order details, which is our fact table data, which is staged. We just staged it a second ago. Now we're going to bring in the dimension keys for each of our dimensions. So we just brought in customer. Dim order date is now going in. Dim product key and then dim ship date. 
Now that they're all in there, we can recreate the table, adding in the, the, these new columns. And then we're going to reproduce the, the procedure that we just created because we've just added some extra columns. Don't need to worry about the join criteria, we've already set that up. Now it's going to ask us some questions about the business keys and how their business keys join to the dimensions. So we're going to use the business key from the dimension and join it with the business key from the order details. And it's only questioned us about the order date and ship date. Now execute that procedure. That procedure is now populated that table. Now we're going to create the fact table. So we will refresh our columns on the right hand side move to the fact data object, drag in order details, press add, press OK, and we're going to create that table. Now we're going to create the procedure that populates that table. We're going to choose the order ID, which is the business key on the fact table. Press OK. Then we're going to populate the fact table. That's now populated. Now we can move to Proving that we've actually created the star schema by moving to this diagram, choosing fact table, choosing the fact object, and press star schema object. And there we go, we've got our fact table. Thank you for listening.